Hello, welcome everybody to PowerPoint Academy. Today I will talk about everything you need to know about sounds in Microsoft PowerPoint. I know that sound is considered a big problem to many people in PowerPoint, and I have many questions concerned with sounds editing, the sound icon, and many other problems concerned with the same issue. So today in this video you will learn all tips and tricks concerned with the sounds in PowerPoint. Just like the video and subscribe to our channel to see our upcoming videos. Firstly, what are the ways to insert sounds to your presentation? You have two ways to insert sounds, either file from your PC like this, or just record the sound using a PowerPoint application as a recorder. I prefer the first method, so let's insert this sound file. Alright, so after inserting this sound file, let's see what can we do with this file. Bookmarking what is sound bookmarks, and how could it help you? Simply, this feature is very helpful to you, especially in larger tracks. As you can put a bookmark, for example, in the site to start the record from it, instead of keep playing from the start to reach it. So, if you have a particular topic wants to bookmark it in your track, just put the indicator here and click bookmark. And of course, you can remove this bookmark from this icon. Alright, could I edit this track or just inserting and playing it without any editing? Of course you can edit it. Click on Trim Edit to trim any part you need from the track like this. I will choose this part and click OK. Regarding the fading, the PowerPoint acts here as a professional sound sounds edit editor and it gives you the ability to control the fading in and out of sounds. If you don't know what is fading, it's simply a property concerned with playing the sound gradually. It starts with low volume and keep increasing its volume gradually like this. The most important in this tutorial is how to deal with the sound track along your presentation. As you see, you have too many options. Number 1. The Start You have two options, either to start it automatically or when you click on the icon. Number 2. Play across the slides You can check this if you want to your track to be in your background or to be in the background along your presentation. And if you keep it unchecked, it, may, it means that the sound will be played in this slide only. Number 3 loop until stopped. It means that the sound track will be repeated until you stop it manually by yourself. Number 4. Hide during the show. Many people use this feature which means that this icon will disappear during the preview like this. Number 5. To control when to stop this track, just go animation, animation pane and double click and choose what you want here. Either if you click or after the end of this slide or after any number you want of slots. Okay, the volume of the sound. In the PowerPoint you have four options regarding the volume. Low, medium, high or muted completely. Lastly, what about the sound icon? I have just told you that you can hide this icon during the preview, but what if you want to if you want it to appear? If you want this icon to appear, you can edit it as a normal picture. All options of picture editing in PowerPoint could be applied to this icon. Okay, we reach the end of our video. If you like it, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share it. See you in another video.